Welcome to My Smart Tech TV. My name is Jess and I'm your host. And this week I'm joined by Steve Hoy, who is the founder and CEO at Enosi. Let's welcome Steve. Nice to meet you, Jess. Nice to meet you. So Steve, to start off with, I'm gonna to get you to introduce yourself. Tell us a bit about you and your background. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Um, yeah, I've been a, I guess I'm an energy industry veteran. Um, it's always a worry to use that phrase, but there you are. Um, because I did start in, in the power sector out of high school a long time back ago, back in the 80s. Uh, but I've been working in, uh, in, on the intersection of technology and the power industry for, for a long time. So uh, for a long time, I was consulting to the utilities industry um, on you know, how to best use smart technologies. And, um, and for last, uh, before founding an OC for about uh, seven years or so, I was um, the worldwide leader for IBM's uh, smart grid consulting practice. So we're doing projects all over the world on, on smart grid projects. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's me. Amazing. And you mentioned that you, uh, Anosi, tell me about Anosi and what they do. Yeah, so Anosi is a company that um, that uh, I founded with uh, my co-founders um, in 2018 uh, to develop um, technology um, which is enabling access to clean energy for everybody on the planet. That's our mission, um, to, to make sure that everybody has, a, has, a, has a, an ability to access uh, renewable power. And uh, it's, a, it's a, a, a technology that's uh, known as traceability technology. So um, software that uh, identifies the source of your energy. And tell me more about that. So it's, it's called Power Tracer. Tell me more about what that does and, and why it's important for climate impact. Yeah, so um, Power Tracer, um, yeah, is a, a product that basically matches your energy consumption with production at a renewable generation site um, or sites. In fact, um, yeah, anything from you know, large to, to small. So it could be your neighbor's rooftop, but equally it could be a wind farm, um, you know, a, a major kind of wholesale player. So, um, so Power Tracer uh, you know, does that, uh, uh, that, that kind of matching. And it also puts a price on that, that particular source of energy. So it's, um, it's, it enables, um, enables energy retailers uh, to sell energy products that um, identify the source of where you're buying energy from and to put a price by source. So now I can do something like, uh, you know, here's the price when the wind's blowing, here's the price when it's not. And uh, we think that's going to be quite a powerful um, uh, tool uh, in, in our uh, attempts to you know, mitigate ch climate change by letting people, you know, take some action. Right. Now I can, I can, uh, how, do, how do I do this? You know, like, uh, how do I, how do I, how do I um, uh, procure renewable energy? Well, you know, until now, all you, you've been able to do is um, uh, put solar on your roof. That's fine. Um, and that's, and, you know, we've seen, you know, in Australia, 25 or 30% of people do exactly that. Um, but, you know, what if your roof's shaded or you live in an apartment, you're a tenant or you just can't afford it or whatever it is. And that's 70% of the market, right? So, um, so that is, uh, you know, because the opportunity for, the, for those people uh, to access renewable energy um, through a retail contract. Yeah. Amazing. And you guys have coined the term uh, true zero. Can you talk to me about what that means and, and why it's important? Yeah, it is an important uh, distinction. You know, there's a, a lot of talk around the world of, of, of net zero. And I guess we, we contrast um, the idea of, um, of true and net zero. Now, net zero is an you know, admirable goal. And, you know, we certainly want um, uh, you know, every nation to get there. Um, but what net zero means in the, in the electricity sector um, is, is that um, we kind of accept that we have um, you know, fossil fuel as part of our energy mix. You know, everyone you know, gets this, oh yeah, um, you know, the sun only shines a certain amount of time and therefore to top it up, I need to you know, buy fossil fuels. And with net zero, you, you buy, you, know, you, you, you pay money to buy a certificate that is issued by say a solar or wind farm um, when they were generating. And you offset that against energy that you consumed, you know, in the middle of the night, say, um, you know, uh, but you've got a certificate from the solar farm. And because the solar farm can create these certificates, you know, during the day and then any time over the course of the next year, literally any hour uh, over the next year, you can then surrender that certificate or buy the certificate to surrender it to say that I used renewable power. Well, you didn't. Right? <laughs> and this is the bottom line. And so while that's, you know, it's a good thing, it provides uh, an extra source of revenue for, for funding those solar farms and so forth. Um, in the end, if we want everybody to be on renewable power, we can't be buying a certificate for energy that somebody else actually used, right? Because that guy then didn't get the credit for it. Um, so, so true zero actually means that I'm matching to uh, the renewable source at the time it was produced. And, and that way, you know, we, we capture what you actually used. 
So it's um it's a concept that um has been promoted uh, you know recently um you know quite strongly by some of the major leaders in in the kind of um ESG world in the uh, uh, sustainability world. So um. We, we point often to a, a paper that was written last year by Google, um, who've adopted this as their strategy that they're going to you know, procure their energy from renewable sources 24 seven, that's what they call it 24 seven energy. Um, and, and, and the, if, what their aim is, um, is to over, uh, between now and 2030 is to kind of eliminate fossil fuels completely from their energy mix. So up until now, they'd been buying energy from wind farms, solar farms, you know, to power their data centers and so forth. They did a, um, a study, I said last year, and they wrote this paper about it, where uh, they did the calcs around the world, and they said, looks like they actually, um, those contracts they have supply about 61% of their energy, but they bought certificates for 100%, All right? And so they were telling the world, yeah, we're 100% renewable at our data centers, but their own engineers kind of called them on it and said, yeah, well, that's all good, um, but, but the reality is um, we need to eliminate these fossil fuel purchases. And so that's fine if you're Google, all right, or, or in fact, you know, a number of others are now declaring similar goals. Um, you can do that kind of maths uh, <laughs> pretty well. But the most of us, uh, we want our retailer to do that. We want the retailer to buy energy from renewable source for me and tell me where it came from. And so that's where Power Tracer comes in and why it's important. Um, so we can take people on this path to, to true zero. Yeah, and again, it may not be on day one, you're getting 100% renewable plan because yeah, um, sometimes the wind doesn't blow, the sun doesn't shine. So we accept that. Okay, uh, yeah, but we now have a goal. We now try to in improve our renewable percentage um, by actually taking some action. So our customers will be able to do things like, um, you know, at, at a residential level, you know, let's, um, let's run the dishwasher in the middle of the day because the sun over my solar farm, um, which is, of course, exactly what happens if you put solar on your roof. You tend to do the same thing, um, start moving it to the renewable times of day. So everyone can do that. And that, of course, is, is what's going to save the planet. Absolutely. Knowledge is power. And um, yes, yeah, it shouldn't just be the responsibility of the big kind of corporates. Everyone plays a role in it. Um, how, how has it been, you know, with, with Power Tracer rolling out in the market? What's the response been like um, at the moment? Yeah, it's been um, been quite a ride for us, um, as as you can imagine. Um, you know, as a, a tech startup, um, you know, developing an entirely new concept that's somewhat alien um, to to what's a pretty old um, and established industry. Um, but we went live with Power Tracer late last year, and um, and we've been you know working then since then to uh, to bring as many of uh, certainly the Australian uh, retail energy industry uh, uh, to to the product. So we've now started working with 10 energy retailers in Australia. So um, that's quite a, well, actually nine in Australia and one um, overseas um, to start developing products that, that take advantage of this traceability technology. So we've been you know, really excited about that. We have three already um, who are in the market, uh, at least with you know, limited um, access uh, projects. But, um, but soon we expect that, that kind of broader availability. So it's been really great. We've, um, uh, so some of the, the retailers, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give a pat on the back if that's okay. okay. Um, you know, so, so Simply Energy um, uh, operates uh, in the Australian market um, you know, with a pretty good product anyway. Um, but they're doing a project with us um, where they're working with um, a customer, uh, an industrial customer called Hunter Douglas, who are, uh, they make um, uh, Luxifex blinds and so forth. And they have a big factory in Western Sydney with 800 kilowatts on the roof of the factory. And what they're doing is sharing the energy from that 800 kilowatt system with their staff. Ah. And so this is you know, a terrific idea. So the, so the Hunter Douglas uh, as a corporation is saying, you know, we, we want to make use of this excess. You know, so sometimes you know, they're not open the weekends and the, the factory closes at 4 p.m. or so. So there's plenty of energy being exported uh, just out to the grid. And what they want to do is make sure that their staff will benefit from that. And, and they can then say, you know, we've, um, we're, we're making the maximum use of our renewable um, power. And, um, and the staff are actually saving money because um, you know, the, the, the money that a, a corporate normally gets for excess energy is, um, uh, is not very much. And so the staff can buy it for that price or in fact less. And, um, and so they're, they're getting some, one of the best deals in Sydney. Um, uh, to, and, and a large part of the energy is now coming from renewable source. So that's a terrific project. And they'll be working on uh, more mass market stuff um, uh, over the next year or so. Um, we've been working with a company called Energy Locals, um, and they're doing the letting their customers, um, you know, with rooftop solar and without, you know, share it between each other. Uh, so it's uh, not too dissimilar. And um, another one that's already underway is with a company called Momentum Energy, and Momentum are um, are doing you know, commercial industrial um, uh, customers. Uh, they have a customer in Brisbane, the Port of Brisbane, who have um, who put a big solar system on the rooftop of the cruise terminal 
problem is it went live in 2020 and there hasn't been a cruise ship since, right? So as you can imagine why. And, um, and so there's a lot of ex exports there. What they're doing is actually sharing it with their other sites. So around the port, they've got lots and lots of these um, uh, of facilities and different needed points. Um, so they're sharing it across that um, in a concept called virtual net metering. And so they, again, are using their own energy, their own solar energy, um, and sharing it at places where the solar is not installed. And I think that's uh, another powerful model. So expect those ones and a bunch of others, including potentially a couple of the majors, um, to be adopting PowerTrace over the next year. Uh, so that's really exciting. Yeah, that is exciting. And you know, you see, uh, I suppose, the gig economy. I love that kind of sharing of you know, we see it in Uber, yeah. we see it with um, in many different areas. So to be able to actually share um, and and make a difference, yeah. together, it's great. It's an important distinction, though. So so um, yeah, I have heard this a, a lot in the energy space um, that you know, eventually there'll be an Uber of energy and you know, yeah. all, all, all the energy industry is going to be completely disrupted and so forth. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Um, well, because it's a ubiquitous service um, and you kind of have to have it and everyone kind of recognizes um, uh, this thing, there's a lot of government regulation around it and a lot of consumer protection laws. And, and it's really important that we have licensed retailers who aren't there to rip you off um, you know, the, and you know, at substantial risk if they try to. Um, so, so if you want to buy energy in Australia and pretty much any market in the world, you need to buy it from an electricity retailer. If you want to sell energy, you need to be a, a retailer. So our view is that the only way to get this kind of technology out there is to sell it through those licensed entities um, and, uh, and disrupting them. Um, yeah, it disrupts the model, but, it, uh, but it's something that they actually have to take to market themselves. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Great. Well, one last question. So, you know, if I could get out a crystal ball right now and look into the future, what's, what's on the cards for Power Tracer? Where do you see it kind of going? Oh, there's, uh, there's so many good things coming. Um, so, I mean, clearly the first thing is really expanding um, to the mass market. We've got these um, you know, limited uh, access projects available at the moment, and we're working with more and more retailers. So we'll see that over the next uh, next year, there'll be these you know, wind and solar farm offers where we're fairly confident they'll be coming out through some of our retail partners. So that's going to take some support and, and work from our side. So that's important. Um, the next big thing for us is international expansion. So um, it's a, it's a uh, Sydney-based business, and, and we're working across the Australian market. But we also have um, uh, working on a contract in Singapore at the moment. Um, interesting market, Singapore, 96% um, gas-fired um, generation over there. So, um, so solar energy is really rare. And um, so the, there's a bit of a, it's a premium product in that, in that context. You know, there's way more people want uh, renewable energy than can possibly get access to it. So, um, so our retail partner there, I can't uh, talk about just yet, but they're um, uh, looking to, to you know, bundle up that energy and sell that. So that's really great using Power Tracer. And then um, perhaps from a technology perspective as well, um, the, the third thing that we'll be doing in the near future um, is extending Power Tracer to help our customers not just you know, match and, and you know, get, get billed for the renewable um, energy, but also to be able to take some action. So some you know, things like notifications to you. Yeah, it's gonna be, um, it's, it's gonna be a still day tomorrow. So how about you kind of um, you know, pre-cool the house today? Um, or, or overnight. So there's kind of actions that you can take to maximize your renewable percentage as we take our customers on this path to true zero. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, is there anything that I've kind of missed that you kind of wanted to say or any? any... Uh, look, yeah, just thanks. Thanks for the opportunity to get the message out there. We're really excited. So um, yeah, thank you, Jess. Great. Thanks for your time. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.